What's going on, DJBooth.net? This is DJ Blaze, and I'm in the lab to give you guys a full video review of the new CDJ700 Gemini Multimedia Player along with MIDI Control. Check it out. Okay, folks, so here it is. This is the Gemini CDJ700 Multimedia Player with full MIDI mappable control. And we're going to break down the review. Uh, starting with overall impressions and setup. The overall impressions of the unit is very, very good. As you can see, the layout and all of the button position and everything you see here is very reminiscent to the layout of the flagship standard, industry standard, Pioneer CDJ lineup. Now that, that to me was a very good decision. Um, it's a good decision because now people who can't afford to get something like a CDJ uh, 2000 or CDJ 950 now they have an alternative that's not too far away from the club standard so big kudos to Gemini for pulling off a nice rendition of a Pioneer CDJ but in a nice affordable package for you know the regular everyday DJ who wants to have something similar in their, to their home that is actually at the club setup so along with the overall impressions you also notice a big giant uh, touch screen at the top, full color. You also have the ability on the unit to play CDs. You can play data CDs, MP3 CDs, or your regular music CDs, along with USB playback. So you can plug your hard drives or your USB flash drives, as I'm going to do for some of the demonstrations in this review. And you can also use your SD card. So there's another slot located right here next to the USB slot. And you can plug in your SD cards to play back your music from there as well. And another added bonus with this unit is the MIDI control. Now you can use this unit as a full out MIDI controller. And everything including the, the sliders here are all fully MIDI mappable. Meaning you can map these buttons individually to any function that you need in a program like let's say for instance Tractor. So for the purposes of this review we also use this unit in with Tractor and we will talk a little bit more about those results later. Along with overall impressions the unit is mostly made up of plastic which is one of my gripes with the unit but it kind of saves itself by using a metal backing and underplating which I'll show you here in a little bit and that gives it a little bit more sturdiness overall the unit construction does feel like it's gonna last but I do like to see things with a little bit more weight to them this does not weigh as much as the CDJ 900 for instance you can tell that you know some of the internals or what have you is just weighs a lot less than anything on that unit but you know they were able to come in at a good price point with the unit so we can't really take them at fault for that there so for setup, when you want to use this unit just with your normal playback, your CD, USB, or SD card, um, you just set it up always the same. You throw your CD in or you put your flash drive in or your SD card. Uh, you select what you want to use to, for, for playback. You plug in your RCA cable over to either your speakers or to your mixer. That way most DJs are going to use a mixer so that they can you know, mix whatever's coming out. Um, and then there's an, a detachable power cable as well, which is plugged right into the outlet. So setup for normal playback is fairly easy. For your MIDI playback, um, we use this with Tractor Pro 2. And in order to set that up, we had to go to the Gemini DJ website. You go to Products. You scroll down to the CDJ700. Scroll over to Downloads. And you will there be able to download your ASIO drivers that are compatible with Windows. And you will also be able to download the Tractor.TSI file. Uh, that way you're already ready to go right out of the box with this unit right on Tractor 2 if you wish to do so. Okay, next up we're going to speak on the inputs and outputs. And we'll see if we can get the unit a little closer so you guys can get a really, really good look here. So... As you can see, we have the oversized toggle power button here. In the middle, this is your detachable AC cable. 
you have your USB connection this is for your MIDI connection and there is an audio output left right, left right line out and a digital output as well come around to the front and you'll see the front slot loading CD mechanism around the top top upper corner here you'll see the USB slot here and the SD card slot is under this one okay next up we'll talk about the jog wheel and the playback bunk functions or buttons and those buttons are usually located from the bottom of the unit to about the midpoint and the first thing we're going to talk about here is the oversized jog wheel so again very similar to the pioneer offerings in feel and in design um, the jog mode can either be in vinyl that way when you press the top that's when the record would stop you'll get much more of a tactile feel with this setup and you'll be able to pull off some of your scratches um, if you're in jog mode then the whole wheel ends up being a pitch bend type of unit where you will be able to fast forward or slow down the track as you wish along with the jog wheel we also have the jog adjust knob which will lower or raise the tension of your jog wheel so at its heaviest setting you get a little bit more force feedback very good for mixing and at its lightest setting you can do more of your scratching um, I did have an issue with the unit a small gripe where at the lightest setting on the jog wheel it was still a little difficult for me to pull off some scratches that I was able to pull off on a different CDJ so as you can see it's a high resolution jog wheel meaning everything you do here will translate out onto the player but whenever I was doing my really quick scratches it's just harder to do here than it is on other CDJs and other decks and I you know, had to point that out to you guys just to let you know um, at its lightest setting still a bit tight and still hard to do your juggles uh, your, your, your back and forth type style scratching and mixing um, but very very good for your club DJs who are playing house trance drum and bass where you're just mostly beat matching along with the playback control we also have your pitch slider here and you can adjust the tempo range from 8 to 16 24 50 or 100 percent you have your pitch bend buttons master tempo button um, you also have along with your jog wheel the start time and stop time adjustment knobs meaning you can slow down or speed up the start time or the stop time of your track usually um, I have my start time set at its quickest setting but if you set it at a setting other than that you'll hear it start up and it took some time to start up and depending on how slow or how fast you got your stop time adjusted you'll get the desired effect over here on the left we have the search rewind fast forward buttons and we have the track search rewind fast forward there is a reverse direction button so when you're playing your track press your reverse button and the track plays in reverse and all of the functions in our normal USB CD and SD playback felt just as good when we were in our MIDI mode uh, with Tractor Pro 2 so we have full testing there and everything went smoothly without a hitch next up we'll talk about the loops cue points and effects so you have a few built-in effects here and you also have your cue points up here at the top and you have your loop section in and out and adjust and reloop button here at the top as well again everything is very similar to the layout of a CDJ so you know right where everything is if you're familiar with that lineup of decks so we'll just do a quick demo here very easy to set your hot cues just press the button where you want your hot cue and when you want to delete your hot cue press the memo button 
Get rid of your Q. Next up, we'll talk about the loops. Loops are very easy. Set your in point and your out point and you're ready to go. And next up here, we're going to show you guys uh, the effects. There's filter, flanger, echo, bubble, trance, and wah. And, and that's worthy of your mama. I want you to ride. Definition of honor. Honor that brother. For murder these souls. Always taking taxes. Never pay the souls. Always making moves. I didn't make the rules. Okay, so in conclusion, the Gemini CDJ700 multimedia player is a nice all-around deck. It's good to play all the different versatile ways that you want to play music. You got your SD cards, USB drives, and flash drives. You got your CDs. Any types of CDs will work in there. And you also have your MIDI buttons. Everything is MIDI mappable. Every single button, say if you're a hot cue type of DJ and you don't really use loops, you can make these three hot cue buttons and then make these three the next hot cue buttons. It's all up to you how you want to MIDI map this device and everything works excellent in MIDI mode just as good as it does when you're doing your regular playback. Along with that, the unit is coming in at a great price point. You can do a lot of things that you can do with the higher end CDJ900 and CDJ2000 offerings but you're cutting the price in half and then sometimes a third or more. So basically you're getting this unit, I think I've seen them retail for about $550 and you're able to do a lot of things that you're not able to do on most other CD decks. You also have a full out MIDI controller here. So it just adds and adds to the versatility of the unit. And it also adds to who we're going to recommend this unit for. So leading into the recommendation, we are going to recommend this unit for any DJ who is not really interested in scratching primarily. But if you're mixing, if you're doing baby scratches here and there and you want to uh, get your beat matching skills right and you want to use a plethora of different types and styles of inputs and, and devices then this is the unit for you. Um, if you're going to want to scratch a lot and you're scratch heavy and you'd like to do a lot of back cueing this may not be the unit for you simply because the jog wheel is a little bit, little bit on the tight side even at its lightest setting. So we're going to recommend this unit to anyone in between who needs this type of functionality, who has a library of music that can be on SD, USB, or CD, and they might want to dive into the, the MIDI world as well and use this as a software controller. So for more on the full written review, check us out at www.djboot.net slash DJS for DJs. You can also follow me on Twitter for your daily DJ equipment updates. My Twitter handle is at DJBlaze underscore DJ Booth. And you can also check out our 125 plus YouTube videos. We have a lot of reviews on there, unboxings and, you know, preview videos. And you can check it out at www.youtube.com slash Real DJ Blaze. Thanks for watching.